How inappropriate to call this planet Earth when it is quite clearly ocean. The poignant truth is that we know so little about deeper marine habitats, but these unexplored depths are now conveniently within range of our deep sea submersible. The films that I make are underwater. I really enjoy marine wildlife. I enjoy making films about diving adventure, and I especially enjoy the highly technical aspects of doing work, difficult work, underwater. When I first started diving in the late 60s, nobody had been diving for 25 years. A lot has changed since then, and now most of the diving areas around the planet have been explored to depths down to about 100 and 180 feet. Many, many, many people all over the world have completely exploited the shallow water. I don't mean that in a bad way. I mean that a lot of people have dived, both you know, researchers and scientists and sport divers, filmmakers, photographers. It doesn't matter where you go. You go to Antarctica, British Columbia, the Cayman Islands. People have been there. If you like the idea of exploring, if you like exploration, if you yearn to go places where nobody has been before, see animals that nobody has seen before, then you can still do that on this planet. You just have to go deep. So there's this feeling of privacy, you're, you're, you're out there, the world is in front of you and you're the only one there. It's just a fantastic feeling. You're almost certainly going to see things that nobody's ever seen before and you're going to see species that are yet to be described by science. You feel like you've just done something that very few have ever done. Being the first to explore deep walls and survey untouched undersea mountains while documenting new species is a natural fit for the capabilities of deep sea. These are astonishing areas of extreme geology with life so abundant that it rivals coral reefs. But this deep exploration and adventure has previously been available only through the military and scientific institutions. At last, we now have the ability to explore these mystery-filled, lesser-known regions of our planet with an economy, agility, and comfort never before imagined. Forty dives in the mirrors. I've got to have fifty dives in, in Alvin. Deep rover, in the double deep rover, the deep workers, probably twenty or so in the Johnson Sea Link. But deep sea actually surprised me. My first experience in deep sea was in the Sea of Cortez. I just really appreciated the simplicity and the elegance designed and implemented on the deep sea. It was very easy to get in and out of. And then once the dive began, I really became impressed. The sub works. It's the real deal. There is no question about that. Deep Sea is a custom-built one-atmosphere submarine capable of carrying a pilot and two passengers to a depth of 1,500 feet. That's almost half a kilometer straight down. Her adept dive autonomy is a full six hours, and she travels at speeds of up to 1.5 knots. She is a flexible, capable, and masterfully designed vehicle. She agilely operates with precision throughout her range in complete comfort and utmost safety. The fact that you have a submarine, or even a submarine and a ship, uh, doesn't define an operation. The practice and the honing of skills 
and the people involved in making an efficient and safe operation is, is impressive. And they've done that, and they've done it really, really well. The view from Deep Sea's cockpit is unparalleled with a 360-degree field of vision. The four-inch thick acrylic sphere actually disappears when immersed, giving the exhilarating sensation of total freedom. Deep Sea is the first deep submersible designed and developed as a fully supported filmmaking and scientific exploration platform, while at the same time keeping the ocean enthusiast and underwater adventurer in mind. A full motion mechanical arm enables Deep Sea to accept additional external cameras, collect samples, and even deploy and retrieve instruments. Deep Sea is equipped with an impressive array of HID lights and remote-controlled high-definition video cameras that document all of her dives, while passengers also use their own video or still camera equipment from inside the acrylic sphere. Look, 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 look. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Look at that. I was amazed. I was amazed at the things that we saw uh, on videotape coming back from the submersible. I had no idea those colors existed. I had no idea that many of those animals uh, existed, yet alone lived at Cocos Island. And I spent hundreds of days diving at Cocos, but deeper than I was capable of going, it's an entirely different world. That's magical, and those opportunities are available. There is absolutely no doubt that submarine stacks up against any sub-operation that I've been with. I'm comparing it to a lot of different submersibles that I've dived in, some of which I can, I'm a pilot for. When I was in the Sea of Cortez with the deep sea operation, I had nothing but appreciation. Maybe it's personal adventure you seek, or capturing extraordinary scenes on film, or perhaps expanding our scientific understanding of the planet through precisely planned and meticulously managed expeditions. Our objective is the same, to partner with people who desire to bring themselves and humanity face to face with the secrets of the deep ocean. You feel like you've just done something that very few have ever done. And in fact, you did it in comfort, and what you saw was mind-blowing. I don't care what you have done in your life, you've not done that, and you haven't seen those animals, and you do appreciate that opportunity.